GTD, the getting things done system that is, really went to town on the concept of next actions. Although it's by no means a GTD only concept and it's as simple a concept as you're ever going to find, but it's possibly going to be one of the biggest procrastination killers in your whole entire productivity toolbox. The power of the next action concept is that it helps us to realize that vague or generalized tasks don't do us any good. And we actually find out that what we thought were tasks are actually many projects. With this list of tasks, you'll see that I'm using the 135 rule that I spoke about earlier. One big task, three medium, and five small. Now, there's actually one quote unquote task in my three medium tasks category, which is really a project in its own right. I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about which one you think it is. I'm sure you guessed it. It's this one right here. Make flags for functional training. You see, I'd like to make some flags that I can stick in the sand on the beach and use for functional training with my daughter. Now it's time to zoom in and break this project down into bite-sized chunks. I could easily buy some simple flags and that would make everything so much easier, but I'd like to do this project with my daughter. So much more fun that way and she gets to participate. The danger with one big task declaration is that it's too general, too vague, and the bigger and more complex the project, the greater the risk of procrastination, putting it off to another day. This is where the next action dynamic comes in. GTD says that you can't do a project, you can only do a physical action. Projects consist of multiple steps, multiple actions to complete, so I can't do some flags. What I can do is the following. I can go to the fabric store to pick out some white durable fabric. In the same area, I can pick up some bamboo rods. I can make sure I have enough metal loops to tie the flags to the bamboo rods. I can collaborate with my daughter on the exact size and dimension of the flags. And we can also cut out a template to use for all the flags. So out of this small handful of to-dos for our mini project, what would you say was the very first physical action I should take? I actually happened to put my next action first already. Very often when brainstorming steps you need to take for anything to get done, the first thing that comes to mind is often the first logical step to take. No matter what your next action turns out to be, the fact that you've got a next action means that you're ready to get the ball rolling. You're ready to follow through with one simple action. If you're procrastinating on something, the likelihood is that you haven't simplified your tasks into individual actionable steps. Your mind hasn't singled out and focused on the very next action you could take to get something done. Many of my more complex tasks often start out with Google X, Y, or Z, or even just make an outline on X, Y, and Z. That gets me thinking. And when you start thinking about something, you're starting to overcome the inertia and gain momentum. The biggest struggle to actually starting something is all in the mind. And what Workflowy allows us to do is get all of our thoughts out of our head and shuffle them around until they make sense. So here's what this piece of advice boils down to. Whenever you record a vague and general task, which is probably a project, zoom in immediately and start to break it down, or at least get down the very first action you can take, your next action. <laughs>